write an equivalent expression with positive exponents, only positive exponents on this one. So this kind of looks like it will kind of address your question there, Shelby. Um, this one, because we do have two bases that are the same, those y's. So if we simplify this, and we can make each one uh, its own fraction. So on the next one, times x to the power of negative 5 over 1, times y to the power of 4 over 1. And this is where we use that. I would move the y's next to each other like this. And then the z is kind of on the tail end of this, like that. So this allows us to combine the y's right now instead of reciprocating and then seeing what happens. So the 7 doesn't need to be reciprocated. The x does. That would be 1 over x to the 5th. Does it help to see that 7 as a fraction? I don't know. And then the y's, this now becomes a y to the power of 2 over 1, because here we would have 4 plus this negative 2 right here. 4 plus negative 2 is 2. And then times z, well, we need to reciprocate the z because its power is negative. 1 over z to the power of negative 8. And if we multiply all these, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so we got 7 times 1 times y squared times 1. 7y squared over 1 times x to the fifth times 1 times z to the power of 8. x to the fifth z to the eighth. 